Thank you, Speaker, sir. Sir, I'd like to bring an important uh, issue to the notice of the House, sir. Sir, everyone here would agree that states are going to the maximum extent to bring in foreign investments in their own states, sir, to improve the domestic investments so that these investments provide employment opportunities to the youth and also help in the economic development of the state, sir. This will be the situation wherever you go in the country, you will find that, sir. But, and in the same concept of decentralized development, the previous government of Andhra Pradesh under the leadership of Chandrababu Naidu Garu has constructed Millennium Towers in uh, Vishakapatnam to improve the IT sector in Vishakapatnam, sir, and also brought in Kia Investments, Kia Motors Investment in Anantapur, which is also the backward region in the state of Andhra Pradesh. But now, sir, unfortunately, the present government of Andhra Pradesh issued a notice to the companies housed in Millennium Towers and told them to vacate their premises by the 30th of March 2020, sir. This is a big jolt to the IT companies providing services from the soil of Andhra Pradesh and also to those companies which are willing to set up their facilities in the, in the state of Andhra Pradesh, sir. 18,000 people are working in the buildings, sir, which will be forced to vacate and building this has the government has spent a huge amount sir, to bring in this investment and now all those investments are being forced out of the state and the employment opportunities of the youth are being curtailed sir and there is another example also whatever i am saying is hard fact sir it has been reported in the newspapers also i am not just making any false allegations these are real facts these are real facts that i am going to mention sir kia motors which is a big investment for the state of andhra pradesh sir 1.1 billion dollar investment for the state of Andhra Pradesh is now being forced out of the state of Andhra Pradesh, sir. This investment, which has been brought by the uh, previous government, has already moved its ancillary units to other states. And now it is thinking to move its main unit also to neighboring states, sir. What should happen to our state now if the government, present government, take such kind of policies? Now I request the central government to interfere, sir. Such kind of policies should always be questioned by the central government so that FDI or investments which come to the state, the, the central government should also take responsibility. These are international investments that we are talking about. This is the respect of the country that we are talking about. What is this? Sir, what is this? What is this? Can we speak here? Can we speak in the parliament or not? He's doing it every time, sir. Every time, sir. Every time. Something is happening. What is this, sir? What is this? What is this? We have every right to speak here, sir. We have also come as parliamentarians only to speak here. Every time we say something, they are all objecting. Please give them an opportunity if they have something else to say. Why are you disturbing us? I am just saying, sir, I am saying these investments are being forced out. Vishakapatnam and Anantapur have been important regions of development for the state of Andhra Pradesh. Previous government has set up good facilities to improve the employment opportunities. Now they are forcing them out of the state. Sir, I would like to... Sir, I Sir, I would like to bring to the notice of the house, sir. Like whatever is spoken, the two things I have to bring to the notice of the house. There is a report in the media which says Kia Motor is pulling out. This is utter rubbish, sir. I spoke to the MD today morning and they are giving a clarification, sir. This is a false news which is being circulated in the media and it was not given by the company, sir. I had spoken to the MD in the morning and he has clearly told that they are issuing a statement con contradicting whatever is come in the media and whatever towers they have spoken, sir, I want to bring to the notice of the house. There is a company called Franklin Temple Towns. One dummy company they have created in the name of uh, Franklin Templeton and they have given a land of 1000 crores for investment of 30 crores, sir. It is a big scam. We have questioned them, sir, how can they give for 30 crores, how can they give a 1000 crore land? All these scams, they, they are on a mission, sir. They are on a mission. Save Chandra Babu Naidu, save from his scams. That is the basic motive they are, sir. They are not going to talk anything. They are only circulating. Baseless issues, sir. I, I want to bring it to your notice, sir. They should no. have some substance when they speak in the floor of the house. So we 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 oppose to this, sir. We oppose to this, and any sir, any false claims, we we strongly oppose it. We we want this to be expunged from Shri the Shri Benti Ligam.